So you might be trying to figure out how you can go through and transfer your eSIM from your particular iPhone to your Android phone or vice versa. Now, doing this is pretty basic. It really depends on which way you're coming from though. What you wanna start off with first is you wanna go ahead and remove the eSIM that's inside of your particular Android phone or your iPhone. So whatever Android phone or iPhone you have, you wanna find the process of basically removing your SIM card. So you can do that by inside of your iPhone, going inside of your iPhone settings, clicking on cellular, and there should be an option to choose your eSIM and remove your eSIM from your cellular option here. Now, on your Android phone, you can do the exact same thing. So go inside of your Android settings, wherever your Android settings are, tap into settings right here. You wanna find your cell connection options, which should be under like network and internet or something like that. You should be able to find your SIMs, which is right here. And then you just wanna go ahead and remove your SIM card. So click on remove SIM and or remove eSIM. And that's basically all you're going to have to do there. Now, what you're going to have to do is find your eSIM after that. Now, your eSIM should have been the SIM card that your carrier should have sent you. It should have looked like a little QR code. If you don't have access to that, then before you remove your SIM card, you're going to have to go through and get that from your carrier. So go ahead, call your carrier, whoever your carrier is, whether it's Verizon, T-Mobile, whoever it is, go and call them, let them know that, you know, hey, I'm switching my, you know, I'm switching in between phones. I needed like my eSIM QR code. Can you send it to me? And they'll either send you a QR code to actually transfer it, or what they'll do, they'll give you the manual data of basically importing that you know, particular SIM card. It's just a bunch of numbers and letters. So now what you can do is once you have your SIM card removed from your phone, you can then make your way back into your cellular connection settings of either your Android phone or your iPhone. And then you can click on set up cellular. And it's going to allow you to either bring in that QR code or you know transfer from a nearby iPhone if you have an iPhone. But in this case, we can use a QR code or we can enter the details manually. And you can just enter this information manually here or scan the QR code this way. You can do the exact same thing on your Android phone as well. So within the settings, go right into here, tap on settings, you know, go back into your cell, you know, your network and internet, SIMs, go ahead and basically find the add SIM option, which showed up at the very bottom. And you can set up an eSIM and you can scan it or you can, you know, enter the details manually. But those are basically the main ways to go and kind of do it for the most part. So that's basically how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.